All right, woodworkers, welcome back. I am at the next round of creating the template. So I'm at the router table. I have the, uh, <clears throat> the pattern maker bit, so you can see the bearing down below. Cut it up top. That means that my template is going to be facing down. And I've already raised the bit so that just the bearing is engaged on the template. And if I hadn't made this template longer, than the piece I care about, then what I'm going to introduce is uh, the cutting edge gets introduced to the, um, the, the material in the same moment that it's riding against whatever the template is. So by introducing more section here on the template, then I can safely kind of walk this through and introduce the cut that way. And then the same at the end of the cut, and I'll be able to ride off on this template there as well. Uh, this is going to kick up a lot of dust, and it's going to be noisy and horrible, so I've got my respirator, I have my eye protection, I have hearing protection. So let me start all of that business up, and then we'll get ready to go. I also need to plug this thing in. Plugging in there. Oops. So hopefully that all made sense and it looks good. But at this point, this template is right on the money. And whenever pulling this down onto the bed, it's really important I don't start raising up the end because the cutter is going to be removing material rapidly. So be mindful of that. So I have some options at this point. Uh, I'm going to separate the template from the part of the form, the first layer of the form. And I could then reintroduce the template to the next part of the form, but the alignment is going to be really tricky to make sure that this first part and the second part and the third part all align. So instead what I'm going to do is back out this part of the template and then, um, and then I'll be able to re-screw the first part of the form to the second part, form this over this router jig, or the router table, pardon me, and then I'll do the same for the third. And by doing that, then I'm able to, to get where I want to be. The only difference is I'm going to raise up this bit because the template now is a quarter of an inch. The next one's going to be three quarters of an inch. So I can get away with it with this length of cutter. If I had something slightly longer, that would also be an option. So, um, yeah, okay. Hopefully that's helpful. I'll do those other two, and then we'll talk in a second.